What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from ROK Music Review and today I am pleased to say that we are taking a look at a comeback from a rookie girl group called Soul T. They debuted, I think, at most six months ago with the song, I don't remember what it was named, but it was baseball, baseball-ish kind of themed. You get a little wind up and pew, do that. That was that was actually part of part of their their core their course. It was a little bit of a dance move too. So they're back. They were awesome. I loved them. I'm glad that they're making a comeback because at least the company's got the resources to release two things. So we're gonna see what the song is all about and how awesome it is. So let's get it started so I can tell you what I think. Ooh, we're about to get a little. That's not nice. Don't tell me to get away. I like you though. All right, it's it's a song. Songs. This is better. This is better than their debut song so far. They have. They're killing it. Killing it. Ah, oh, it's good. It's so good. And they still got a little bit of that. Oh, it's so good. See, they got that. They got that part in the chorus, right? Plus a little bit of choreography to go with it. That's just as like great. They're still, they had that. They had that in their first in their debut song too. It's a damn good song too. I like, dude. I like it. I would. These these girls are awesome. They're filling. They're filling that that void that that, that that's in K-pop right now. A little bit of. Like some actual serious attitude in their music. You know. Soul, Soul T and, and Bulldog are, are, bringing, are bringing that and it's awesome. This song is so good. I've, I've, been, I've been swept up by the song. It's carried me. I'm into it. Ooh, breakdown. God, their choreo is just so aggressive too. I love it, man. This is so good. All right, all right. I... I don't know what else, I don't know, like, what else to say. But these these girls are, they're the real deal. They're, they are the real deal. The real deal. So good, so good, it is so good. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Soul T. Soul T. Bad girls. Yeah, they are. I mean, not literally, but I mean, like, I guess the ad, the, the the attitude and all that stuff that they got, right? The, the they, they're bringing that badass attitude. And like I like I think I, I do. I think, but I don't even know where I was going with that. Let's restart that sentence again. Like I think I had said previously, that's better. Um, that they're. They're just, they're out of fuck. I don't even remember what I was going to say. When I, uh, they got me. They got me. They got me in some kind of state. I can't even talk. Can't even think. But like, Jesus H. Christ. That is a good song. Like I, like I said, this, this song is much, much, much better than their debut song. Like their debut song was cool. It was awesome. And it was catchy. 
which cool and awesome are like the same thing, but catchy is different. So it was good and it, it was cool and it was catchy. Right? It was also a little fun too because the, the, the theme of it was a little quirky, right? But they brought a little bit of that badass attitude. You can see it. They could also sing too. I do believe in that song. They kind of showed that off, which is cool. Like this is a group that is like, clearly they seem to be focusing on, you know, the rap and the hip hop kind of stuff, which is awesome, right? It's great. There aren't like any girl groups where that is the main focus of the group, you know, it definitely is a very popular thing with the boy groups these days being hard edge and all that stuff or razor sharp or whatever you, however you want to, however you want to describe that their attitude and stuff like that, you know, but the girl groups don't, aren't doing that. They're trying to be, you know, like actually like sexy and sexually appealing and stuff like that. And like, you can do both of those and you can bring the badass attitude. You can be bad ass and sexy at the same time. Why does nobody do that? I do not know, but Soul T is doing it. So is Bulldog. Those two girl groups are the only ones in K-pop that is like so far, that is what they've doing. Granted, between the two of those songs, groups, they've only released like three songs. They've got three music videos. So it's not really a big sample size or anything like that, but that's just the way that it is. And like I said, this song is an improvement. They've like, they took, they took their song, their debut song, and then they like, Double down, they doubled, they tripled, they quadrupled the the badass at the badassness, the the how heavy and hard hitting the song is. You know, that song was a little light compared to this one. This one is heavy, it has got attitude, it has got just it's great. I love it. It is such a fucking good song. <sighs> See, and it's it's like you know normally normally, right, when you when you when when I over the, over the years that I've been making these videos, right, as I've checked out and, you know, watched music videos from, you know, groups that are signed to companies that are small, tiny, unknown, I haven't, I have, it's very rare, it's very, it's like 1% of the time that they release music or there's a group that I'm like, holy shit, this is good, these girls are it, right, it hasn't happened for me, really, and it's and it's awesome. It's so awesome. I I love it. And I mean, like, it's kind of clear, right, that this is a company that doesn't, you know, that doesn't have the resources because their music video is basic, as far as you know the 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 scenes and the backdrops and stuff like that, right? You know, like whoever whoever they paid to produce the music video, like they didn't have any budget for a background for the setting and the scenes. But that doesn't matter, man, because like they got a awesome performance kind of music video, focused a lot on choreography. Got three to four different scenes, three different wardrobes. Everything is visually appealing. Every aspect of this is well done on, I would assume, a tight budget. And that's really, really great. That is really, really great. So, my question for you, because that is all that I have got to say, is how much are you loving Soul Tea? Is this, is this, I got three questions basically. How much are you loving Soul Tea? Is this song, do you think that this song is better than their debut song? And the third one is, out of Soul Tea and Bull Talk, which one would you pick over the other? Which one would be your bias? Answer those questions down in the comments below. And of course, share your general thoughts and opinions on this song, a music video, and anything else that I said in this, this specific video. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fight me. Don't really fight me. I don't want to fight anybody. But, you know, blow up that comment section when you're finished, you know, filling it up to capacity, then maybe you're interested in checking out these two videos over here because they've been hand-selected for you to watch, and I know that you're going to be interested in them. And also, if you like this video and you want to stay updated with all of my future uploads, click on my avatar. It works the same as a subscribe button. That way, you do not miss any of my future uploads. So, that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.